In this video, we're going to have a look at multiplication involving negative integers. Let's try this pattern. 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times 2 is 2. And 0 times 2 is 0. You can see that the pattern is decreasing or going down by 2 each time. So it makes sense. 0 take away 2 would be negative 2, and negative 2 take away another 2 would be negative 4, and to continue the pattern. So let's have a look at this pattern. We can see that a positive number times a positive number results in a positive answer. That is, the product of two positive numbers is positive. We can write a positive times a positive will give a positive answer. But note, we have a negative number times a positive number is resulting in negative answers. That is, the product of a negative and a positive is a negative. So we can write a rule, a negative times a positive is a negative. Now we know using the commutative law that we can reorder factors. So it would also hold that a positive times a negative will also be a negative. Let's have a look at an example negative 6 times 3. Now we know that a negative times a positive will result in a negative answer. So 6 times 3 is 18, but because one number is negative, the answer is negative 18. Similarly, if we have 3 times negative 6, we know that it will also equal negative 18 using the the commutative law. This is like saying three lots of negative six, that is negative six plus negative six plus negative six, will equal negative 18. Now let's have a look at this pattern over here. So we know now that three times negative two is negative six, two times negative two, negative four, one times negative two, negative two, and we've got zero. In this case, the pattern is increasing by two. So it's going to hold, if the pattern continues to increase by 2, the next number is 2, 4, and 6. So you can see now that the product of two negative numbers is a positive number. That is, a negative times a negative will give us a positive answer. Let's do an example. Negative 5 times negative 4. 5 times 4 is 20, and because they're both negative, the answer is positive 20. Or negative 2 times negative 8 will be 16, and because they're both negative, the answer will be positive.